So the topic of the day is um, tailstock refurbishment. It began with me purchasing this um, original MyFruit item. Uh, at that time they um, did not have the metric ones anymore, so I purchased an inch or imperial one. But in comparison with the old one. This is an old but refurbished tailstock casting and uh, as you can see with one of the original barrels it's a snug fit actually and hardly any play. Uh, of course it could be that it's bell mounted here a little bit but um, uh, I tried measuring and uh, also measured on the ta on the barrels and then they are actually smaller than new ones. So we it, but um, and all the other different castings and barrels, old versus new, are different. I mean, 70 years of production, of course, things change. So not my first fault. I thought what to do. I could sleeve up, of course, bore out and sleeve out, sleeve up. I might do that also, but I also saw that they had um, had these metric ones on um, or purchase a while back, so I uh, contacted them, and sure enough, they had them, but uh, they had redrawn them from sale because they were oversized. This one, um, well, you could press it in probably, but a little bit oversized so I thought I'd um, purchase that and then just um, uh, hone up the bore so uh, I then have made a um, I put a washer in here and then I made up a little spacer so that when I put this in it'll act as a um, as a um, guide so I don't break the honing stone there. And my hone is uh, this two stoned um, contraption. Supposed to set the pressure with this and then some fluid and I will try And it didn't take long for me to polish off. And it didn't take long for me to hone up three uh, castings. I think within an hour. So that's great. And the end result uh, was quite okay, I think. metric uh, tailstock barrel new locks and uh, snug everything is also measured uh, okay with the uh, correct height and uh, accuracy for um, <coughs> straightness
So, very smooth.